Welcome back to the No Limits Podcast. As you can see on my screen, we got a huge guest on today. We got the man Nick LMAO. What's up, Nick? Thank you for coming on, man. Hey, happy to be here, man. Sorry, sorry. I've been I've been traveling. I got COVID. I, I've been all over the place, bro. But but I'm, I'm finally settled down again. Um, so I'm excited 100%. to have this uh this talk. No, no, I appreciate your time, bro. And, and let's start it off with like a little introduction for the people that might not be familiar with you. Yeah, well, uh, I do uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I got the opportunity to fight uh, Jay Swingler in March. Unfortunately, I lost, but it was an amazing experience. Uh, and now, you know, I'm, I'm in the scene, you know, ready to box again and uh, just looking for my next opponent. Okay, okay, and let's start. Let's start it off with the Jay Swingler fight. It's been a few months or weeks from that fight. Um, how are you feeling about that decision now? It was very controversial. Like, recap it for me a little bit. Well, you know what? Like, it was. I think, like, I've I've said this a few times. I think the big like thing that made it seem like I, in my opinion, I won obviously, but like I'm disappointed myself because I didn't do enough to make it like uncontestable like I think he had the hometown advantage and I think a lot of people were saying it was because uh because of that but you know I think things like the weight difference and stuff was was what I uh, think made made it seem like my punches you know weren't effective but you know what it is what it is uh next time I'm gonna like I'm not gonna let it be you know, a decision. I'm going to make sure it's, it's, it's very clear that I've won. I'm, I'm not even trying to gas you up just because you're on the show, but all the odds were like stacked against you. Jay Swingler had way more experience than you had already had more fights than you weight advantage. You were like the massive, massive underdog. And, uh, like, bro, you performed really well. I personally thought you won the fight. Keemstar thought you won the fight. A lot of people did. So it's great to see you humble, but would you say you got robbed? Not by Jay. Jay, Not by Jay. I don't think Jay had anything to do with it. I think the commission was biased. Uh, and yeah, it is what it is, you know. Next time, next time, I won't let it go to the decision. No, oh, that's good. I like that mindset. But speaking about Jay Swingler, today news just came out. He's retiring. You want to like yeah. give some thoughts about that? Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say too much because I literally, I woke up. I got dressed on the way to the gym. I checked my phone. I seen that. So I haven't really had time to process it. So I don't want to say anything, but like, you know, I have no beef with the guy. So I just hope he's healthy and, uh, and, and good. And who knows, you know, people retire all the time. That's true. That's true. But, but does it kind of suck? Like you might not be able to get a rematch with him. Yeah. I mean, You know, at at the end of the day, our fight, I feel like I watched, I follow the sport. I think our fight was one of the the best main card events in Misfits. Um, I felt like it was a really entertaining fight, an amazing experience. And you know what? If if we got to run it back, it would have been the same thing. And yeah, so so it is what it is. I'm I'm not happy about it, but. Yeah, I I don't I don't I don't have too much else to say about it at the moment, unfortunately. Okay, okay, that's fair. And something that I always wondered, Nick, you are already like super popular, like without influencer boxing. You have twenty three million subscribers. Most people come into the scene, um, trying to gain followers, trying to gain subscribers. Like, why are you doing it? You don't really need this. Oh yeah, no, I I do it because I'm a fan, bro. So like. Yeah, I'm a fan of this stuff, bro. I, I've followed it since the start, since Theo Baker, Joe Weller, literally from the start. So I dreamed about it since I was a kid. And and that that that's actually like, I, I was honestly only really going to do the fight with Jay. But then mm-hmm. seeing all the love I got and how many people were saying like, yo, I look up to Nick because like I'm where he was when he was 15. And for them, I really want to like continue to do this just because it is, it is, it would be it, it's nice to have someone that's like you can see yourself in so yeah that that's that's why i do it because because it's it's i'm a fan you know 
That's fair. I feel like right now you're taking like even after the fight, you were taking like a very humble approach. But like when you came into the scene, you're kind of like a menace. You're like calling everyone now. You're talking your shit. But that, but that's in my opinion, that's the right thing to do. That's called promotion, right? Like like what do you think about all these like YouTubers, influencers that forgot like uh, influencer boxing is about promoting, not necessarily how skilled you are. Well, the problem is so here's the problem: losing Jay, not good for the scene. He is he's one of the few. Like honestly, it's hard for me to think of five YouTubers that actively make content that do boxing. KSI, Jay, and me. Those are the only ones I can really think of. And I don't mean like I know like people like Dean the Great. He makes sick content, but it's still boxing related. Uh, Deji, he uploads like once every month. You know, like I don't consider them like youtube boxers you know they're just mm -hmm. like boxers now the only like jay me and ksi are the only people i can think of that are active youtubers that were participating in boxing so losing jay is not not great but but to be fair was jay really making content while boxing yeah i i, I don't i didn't follow him he's one of the few uh, uk youtubers i didn't follow i don't know why i just i guess i just never got into him um I watch his videos like now and, and they're dope. But yeah, I, I guess I meant more like he still has. Yeah, I guess he didn't really make. Okay, fine. Then there's <laughs> even one less person. It's, it's exactly. KSI is the only one that makes content in boxes. And it's not good for the scene. It's bro, not. It's but it, it, makes, it makes sense because like, bro, my days, I wake up training, filming all day. I, I usually wrap up my days around like, like 9 10 p.m you know like people it's not easy and i don't i i see why jay it's not financially worth it bro like it's not financially worth it uh if you if you're already doing youtube basically yeah unless 100%. you're like ksi who's like you know yeah and earlier you said that you kind of wanted to do like a one and off with jay swingler but you said you want to continue right so like who do you want to continue with? Who are some like future fights, hit list? Like, let's start bro. something now. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I honestly, with my weight, I don't have anyone. Cause I, my only thing I said to, I said to, to Keem, Jay was a hard fight, but I said, at least he's a YouTuber. I don't care how hard the fight is. If they're a YouTuber, I'll do it. So that's the problem. There's barely any YouTubers in the scene. That That's yeah. my problem. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a YouTuber. I, I, I don't have time to live in the gym. Like, Jarvis, Gib, Slim, they just live in the gym, bro. I don't have that time. I can't do that. So like you wouldn't fight like a Jarvis, Gib or Slim right now? It's not that I wouldn't. Well, though it's just like it's just like, well, right now like Gib or Slim, they're like, I don't know, what do they have like 6 7 fights? I'm, I'm I have I have one fight and it's a loss, yeah. you know. <laughs> it wouldn't really be a fair fight. Uh but I I I would I would fight I would fight like a YouTuber doesn't matter how good they are as long as they're a YouTuber because at least it like makes sense for me to mm -hmm. do it it's fair. It's not fair to box up like they want me fighting professional athletes now it's like bro I'm a YouTuber I'm not a I'm not a professional athlete. Would you fight your boy Alex Wasabi? I think that's a good fight. Yeah, I mean I I mean me me and Alex talk about it. It it would be fun. I don't think it would happen anytime soon. Tag team though, I'm hella down. Hello down for a tag team match. Mm -hmm. That's sick. That's sick. But so I get what you're saying. Like you want to fight someone that can create content and uh, promote your guys' fight. So like, and like somewhere where it's like fair competition, like a slim is way too experienced right now. Right. Yeah. Cause I know that was a rumored fight, but I don't, I didn't think that was going to happen. Know where that came from. I, I think cause he tweeted something. I, I don't, I don't even know, but yeah, that's that, that would, that would, my kind of goal was like, kind of like have like two, three more like normal fights and then rematch with Jay, hopefully win it this time. And then slim for the belt win or, you know, do, do my best and then retire. That, I had my, I had my plans mapped out, but now things change. Who knows what's next, but I, I'm, I'm still in the scene. I'm, I'm going to fight again. I, you know, just have fun with it. You know, who's someone that might be cool. I know he's like technically a pro boxer, but Pineda, he's not like the highest level pro. I think you yeah, did that against him. I don't know what's his weight because I think he's heavier than me. I think he's light. I think he's like one sixty. He can go like really? one seventy. He fought KSI. Yeah, but he fought him at like one seventy. I think he can drop though. He's a light guy. Yeah, because I'm one. I'm one fifty. Like 
three naturally. Okay, but you can go up to so, 160, right? I mean, or no, is that too tough? It was. I mean, I tried for Jay. I could. I I ended up at 153. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to drink like seven liters of water at the way. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. So let, let's talk about your 23 million subscribers, bro. Like, how did you do that, man? That's crazy. I have no life. <laughs> you have, I no, have life. no life. I I don't. I don't leave my house. I don't. I grind every day. I don't take weekends. I don't take holidays. It's just every day, bro. It's every day, bro. bro I'm, J- I'm Jake Paul. Day. When did you start like making content? 2018, but YouTube about two years ago. Two years ago. Oh, shit. So 23 million subs in two years? Well, I think is- I had like three, 300K and then I was just the, one of the first on YouTube shorts. So it just... Oh, okay. was, now, now everyone's on it, but I was me and my roommate were one of the first. So, so what is like your content like based around? It's like kids content. Uh, kids so content. most of the most of the YouTube boxing <laughs> scene, I think that's also why a lot of them hated on me at first. But they have to understand that's just content. Who I you know like like you I, I want them to judge me off my character in the ring uh, because that that's what I'm here in the boxing scene for you know. Do you, do you think like uh your kid your like kid viewers like will watch your fights? Uh, I think uh, I posted a YouTube short about my boxing match. I got like 30 million plus views. Oh uh, shit! Okay. Yeah, they 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 like it definitely, but it's 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 uh it's different with kids. Like if I I think if I did like an event on YouTube, like how Logan and 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 KSI did it back in the day, that yeah. would do really well for my audience. But like with them going to like the zone and stuff. I don't know that they really like would do that just yet, but you know, I'm also, it's my first fight. I'm, I'm introducing it slowly to my audience. I've made more videos about it. So hopefully next fight they're, they're going to, you know, want to see me fight more. All right. Got you. Got you. So we have misfits 007 coming up. I just want to like get your thoughts, predictions on that. Let's start off with uh KSI versus Fournier. Who you got? I got KSI. If he loses it, it will really suck. Uh, but I, I can't see him losing it. So okay. I got KSI by like second round or something. Oh, shit. I don't know. I, I just Fournier is just like he he's a businessman. He knows what he's doing promoting this fight. But I don't. I, Be honest. I, I would that... rather see KSI okay. and Tommy Fury. Yeah, of course, one hundred percent. That's what I think. That might happen next. Hopefully, but like, be honest. Does that fight even excite you, KSI and Fournier? Like, it excites me more than KSI's recent fights. Like, okay, because Sw- Swarms and Pineda, I was like, you know, I don't even, I don't even know. And then uh, <laughs> I was really excited for the Alex fight. Uh, unfortunately, my boy got a concussion, so that really sucked. Um, yeah. And um, and. Uh, his temper fight was like it was cool but this one i'm excited because at least it's like gonna be more competitive i still think ksi dog walks him but like it'll be more competitive all right all right let's how about deji versus swarms if deji if deji loses that bro he's that's embarrassing that's very very peak so hopefully deji wins that i i have him winning because i I always think technique beats aggression and 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 power and he's maybe he's you nice should have fought Deji on this event. He's too heavy, bro. He's too oh, yeah, heavy. True, true. Fuck, but, yeah, I, I wouldn't would mind. Okay, yeah, no and one's then in my weight, bro. No one's in my weight. I don't even think there's a belt for 154. I don't think so. May, but the scene's getting bigger, right? You never know what can come. Yeah, up. they should just give it to me so I can have something. Hundred <laughs> percent. All right, uh, Anthony Taylor versus Salt Poppy. They're both happy punch, bro. I'm happy punch too. I don't really want to make predictions on that one. I just hope, you know, they have a great fight. Okay, that's fair. What about the three round controversy? That's only three rounds. Um Well, I'm like my mentality, bro, is like I'm I'm a bit of like a like just like, you know, like I just go for it, bro. My first ever fight, pro, 10 ounce gloves, no headgear, four rounds, four three minute rounds. You know, I went, I went, I went into the deep end. So that's me. But yeah. like, I get it. There, there's, there's, there's. Salt Poppy has stock, and he has to watch his stock. So, okay, that's fair. That's fair. But think about your first fight. You did go for it, but you also showed like nice defense and nice technique, which was. Oh like, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. I just love that, bro. Like that. Like I think, like you know, like there's, it's like cool to box, but I think like whoosh whoosh, that <laughs> is like. 
that I love that. So yeah, that's I worked a lot on it because usually people don't box with their hand down until they're more experienced. But I was like, I mean, you know, the scene's still young. People aren't as experienced as professional boxers. So I may as well take advantage of that and just hone in on this, you know? Fair. Okay. All right. Before we end this off, bro, do you have some like advice for like small content creators such as myself or like other people in the scene? How can we grow our subs? How can we maybe get on Misfits one day? Um, I think to get on Misfits, well, it's different because I think there's Misfits is kind of evolving into, into not really, you know, YouTube boxing. So I would say for me, I would just grow YouTube because if you can do YouTube, you can, you can get opportunities like this. Okay. You know, I would never have been able to fight Jay if I didn't do YouTube. And I always dreamed about it, like doing a Misfits card, but I didn't live inside that bubble. So I'd say like go outside your comfort zone, do other things, grow a social, because at the end of the day, that's what everyone's been talking about. That's what matters, you know, grow an audience. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Nick. I appreciate it. And hopefully we talk soon. Excited for Have your a next good one. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, bro. Peace out. Peace.